Hey everyone, it's VDX. So this one's a long one, so I'm gonna do the too long didn't watch in a minute, and then give a bunch of detailed notes after. At the end, there's also a cheat sheet for remembering all of this. Okay, here goes. Fakuram has three charge moves. Erupting Knee, Tornado Kick, and Burst. Instead of charging, he can choose a bunch of other options. You have three choices. Block, Duck, or Interrupt. First, scout Fakuram's charge mix-up starters. Standing 3, forward 3, 2, while standing 2, standing 4, and back 2. After using a starter, Fakumram now has four move classes to choose from. First is the standard ender, a mid or low that's unsafe but can't be interrupted. These are all block punishable. Second is the non-chargeable ender. It launches or knocks down. Duck these. Third is the uncharged charge move. These are mid and track both ways. Counter hit interrupt them. Fourth is the charge move, all are mids. These can be counter hit interrupted or sidestepped. For your interrupt, find your character's I-15 or faster high reward counter hit tool. Think Magic 4. To summarize, block the starter, then decide if you want to block, duck, or counter hit. If the starter hits you, you can't try to interrupt. Guess correctly over and over until you win. Easy, right? Okay, now that the clickbait's out of the way, here's a detailed breakdown. Fakumram's charge strings all follow a similar formula. The starter, which is 1-3 to three hits, and then the end. As you can see, some starters share similar enders, such as standing 3 and forward 3-2. Because of this, I sort the strings by their enders. Tornado Kick has three starters. Three, forward three two, and while standing two. Erupting Knee's starters all come from moves containing his standing four. Burst only comes from back two. Let's go in depth into each class of ender that Fak can choose. The first class is the standard ender, a mid or low that's unsafe but can't be interrupted. Erupting Knee's standard ender is his down four. Minus five on hit, minus 16 on block. He has a high extension as well, but it's barely used and not very notable. None of the standing four extensions are delayable either. Backfist standard ender is a low kick from back 2-3. It's minus 14 on block, plus 2 on hit. If undelayed, back 2-3 is a natural combo. Tornado kick standard ender is an unsafe mid-knee, but the properties change depending on the starter. While standing 2-4 is the safest, minus 10 on block, plus 6 on hit. It's a natural combo, but has no special knockdown. The other two are more similar. 3-4 and forward 3-2-4. These are both minus 12 on block and on counter hit give a mini combo. The difference is on regular hit, forward 3-2-4 is only plus 6 and doesn't knock down. The second class has the launch and knockdown enders. They're safe, but they're high. The launch ender for the erupting knee strings from the standing 4 starter is 3 slide 1, twisting back fist. It can be ducked even if the standing 4 hits. Back 2 is a bit of a special case. It doesn't have a high launcher, but its high extension is semi-delayable by partially charging the 1. If only slightly delayed, back 2-1 is a natural combo. Otherwise, it's duckable on hit. The launch ender for the Tornado Kick strings is 4 tilde 4, Night Thunder, the high homing tailspin launcher. It can be ducked even if the starter counter hits you. This is Feet from the Future, Forward 3-2 also has its own unique extension, Forward 3-2-1. This is also a safe high launcher. Fun. The third class is the uncharged charge move. These are mid and track both ways. Uncharged erupting knee, again from the standing 4 starters, is plus 11 on hit and minus 5 on block. Uncharged tornado kick is plus 4 on hit and minus 7 on block. On counter hit, Fok gets a mini combo. The universal answer is to interrupt with a fast, high reward counter hit tool. Erupting knee is I-17 interruptible, and tornado kick is I-15 interruptible. Generic I-15 hop kicks or down forward 2s should always work, for example. It's better to pick either your fastest option or hop kick. Reacting too slowly can cost you 59 HP or more. A hop kick can at least get you floated, which minimizes the risk. If you have something faster, like a magic 4, this is preferable. Note that we covered the back 2 uncharged ender in the previous class, since it's a high, so we're not covering it here. The fourth class is the charged charge move, right? These are the simplest. Just go for your counter hit interrupt. Although these are steppable, it's best to minimize the number of choices you need to make. Since we're already practicing counter hit attempts for the uncharged versions, just keep the same idea loaded for the charged ones as well. Don't make your mind do too many things and multitask at once. Especially in the clutch, it's better to just have one answer that covers multiple options. Extra super detailed notes. Yoshi can trade with Fakuram's 4-4 by flashing. This doesn't work in no sword stance because his flash comes out at frame 8, which is too late. Frame 7 of the normal flash is what trades with the second hit. The high launchers can be counter-hit interrupted, but it's impractical outside of a hard timing read. Again, it's better to duck these. 
Although Tornado Kick is I-15 interruptible from forward 3-2, it's actually I-16 interruptible from standing 3, and I-24 interruptible from while standing 2. However, like I said before, it's better to practice just one answer to have in the clutch. Don't make it harder for yourself. Evasive sidesteppers like Elisa or Lily can sidewalk right to avoid the uncharged erupting knee. They can also avoid uncharged tornado kick, except if the Fock used forward 3-2 as a starter. Again, don't make it harder for yourself, just go for the counter hit interrupt. Finally, here's a quick cheat sheet noting the different classes of Fock and Rum strings. I'll link it below so you can check it out and save it for when you run into him in ranked. Like and subscribe for more 1 minute matchups, and leave a comment below on characters or setups you'd like me to cover. Thanks, see ya!